Hey everybody, welcome to Bay City, Michigan, and I'm going to do a review on a cramp buster that I put on my 1982 Honda Goldwing 1100i, and video's coming up. I paid $7.00 and like 261 shipping and handling about 10 bucks way worth it to me you'll get my opinion you'll have yours but uh watch the video and you'll see thanks for checking me out hi from bay city michigan we're right here in the crotch of the thumb. I was going to change my oil today, but it's raining outside. So I couldn't take it for a little spin so that it would warm up the oil so I could drain it well. And I'm not feeling up to getting all wet just to do that. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. Instead, I had said earlier in the year that I was going to do a review on Cramp Buster. And I put it on and I used it for a little bit and I'm going to tell you what I think. First of all, I like it. Uh, the only drawback for me is that a long time ago I went to a fist fight and other people brought knives. So it was really a knife fight and I was the only one who brought fists. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, I got slashed and it kind of tore some tendons and stuff in there. And um, it's been hurting ever since. It's just achy and uh, it was a bad deal. But that why that's a drawback is because <clears throat> when I'm cranking on that, if I don't have gloves on, that's right where that cramp buster rests in it. If I bang that even just a little bit, it makes me want to say naughty words. And um, I don't like to say them because they sound like shit. Anyways, I won't bore you anymore. <clears throat> I'll take you over here, show you the cramp buster. Okay. Here's the cramp buster, and I'm going to do a review on these little grips that I put on too, but I put this grip on to uh, try to get a little more cushion because my old, uh, this is just an ad addition grip, but this just slips on there as per the package. You just, I'm not going to show you how it goes on because I got it right where I want it. It's just right, if you have it too far forward, then you have to lift your hand up uh, in an awkward position. I'll try to show you that. When you're riding, I can leave my hand off of the cramp buster in the city or somewhere that I'm not needing to utilize that pressure with my wrist if you see it right there I can uh, and it, how it hits right exactly at that spot but um, it really does help on the highway uh, to relieve some of the pressure of having to pull because you just you kind of pushing down with that and it works fine whoever invented that deserves some kudos but if you have it too far forward um, I, I wanted it a little more forward, but um, when I was taking my hand, when I was letting loose, giving it no gas, my hand was really bent forward and it was uncomfortable. And I do have enough room that I, that I can do that, but in, in the immediate, I have to bring it over here or turn it really hard if I bring it over here real fast that I don't like that but so it's just right where I want it now and uh, so 
So I'm not going to show you how it goes on, but it's really simple and easy. But I like it. I give it a thumbs up. And if you want to give it a shot, I think I paid, I don't know, I'll, I'll uh, put on the screen how much I paid for it. But uh, I do like the product. And if you're thinking about getting one, it's worth a try. You'll just have to uh, play around with it to get it set just right. And uh, I've been going 70, 80 miles an hour and a little bit... Um, not the greatest paved roads in the world. Michigan has some shit, crappy ones. Um, but anywho, that's the review on that. I like it. it I think if anybody's uh, uh, going on long trips and they get cramps in their hands, um, you might as well give it a try. It's not that expensive, and I think it's well worth the money. Thanks for watching.